Yo, gangster, gangster. Yeah, Arthur, you don't throw hands, bruh. Jeez. You nasty. What's up, nasty cats? It's your man behind the cam director here with another Ruby reaction, volume seven, chapter 11, Gravity. Uh, in the last reaction, yo, we got to see a complete reversal 180 tap out of, no, not really a tap out, but we got to see a 180 of Ironwood's complete tactics, right? He went on being very much on the defensive, backpedaling, just trying to keep grim enemies and friends at bay, right? In this last chapter, he said, okay, no, nah, I'm all the way down. 10 toads, we're in this. And he brought in Mantle and Atlas and attempted to unite everybody. And I think he kind of did. His speech, better than most speeches. Now I understand why they made him give that speech at the graduation for the Hunter and Huntresses. I understand why they made him give a speech there. So that when he gave this good speech next to Robin Hill to really calm all of Mantle from the Grim attack, you understood. It's like, oh, oh, he sucks at this. But he killed it this time. And it was a good moment of growth for him. You know what I mean? Uh, Arthur... And Tyrion both fell for traps. Uh, Arthur going to destroy the Coliseum, aka the Amity Control Tower, and runs into Ironwood. And on the other side, you had Tyrion who was going to single handedly take out Robin Hill. However, Robin Hill has two perky bodyguards that are there to keep things under control. Uh, I agree. Everybody wants a piece of Tyrion, but Crow gets first shot. Never forget, we remember what you did. The North remembers, Tyrion. Um, so I'm excited for both of these battles we have upcoming. Uh, my big worry is what's going to happen with Neo and Cinder going after the Winter Maiden. In my opinion, here's how it plays out in my mind. Winter, who's supposed to be protecting the Winter Maiden, is going to get to an epic fight against Cinder and possibly fall. And then Cinder is going to take that Maiden's powers. And then she's going to have one and a half Maiden powers? One and a half. I'm going to say one and a half. I don't want that to happen. But if that's the story that we're going with, I, I could see that definitely happening. I do like Winter. I do think Winter is capable. But man, Cinder, Cinder went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Spring Maiden. Literally toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Spring Maiden. I don't know if Winter is on that par of level quite yet. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. This, I'm, I'm very prepared for this chapter called Gravity to be heavy. See what I did? With that being said, we're gonna jump into it. So if you made it this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video, hit the bell for notifications, cause we post content daily and you don't wanna miss out. If you wanna catch it, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check the description below for the Twitch link and of course the Patreon link, where you find uncut, unreleased anime and Ruby reactions. Ruby Vime 7 Chapter 11, coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. Oh, not high enough. I can't help it. Okay, quick recap, right? Uh, I'm very proud of Ironwood's 180 and his ability to communicate and share information with his teammates and how it directly led to his ability to lead a trap for both Arthur and Tyrion to step into. On top of that, I agree, Crow gets first dibs on Tyrion because he owes him back for that stabby stab stab, right? On the other side of things, I'm worried about what Cinder and Neo are actually plotting to do, uh, knowing that they're going after the Winter Maiden and that Winter, Weiss's sister, is over there. Uh, I'm predicting that they're going to end up going into fisticuffs and I hope Winter can either one hold off long enough or two Maybe just maybe ring the alarm to prevent what's going to happen uh, We'll never know though because Neo's semblance slash abilities are so versatile You, you never know where she's going to pop up Yeah, that's it I have to see why. Uh... 
Oh, look how happy Penny is. Yo, gangsta, gangsta! Yeah, Arthur, you don't throw hands, bruh. Oh. Oh. Oh no, Ironwood, you're fighting in his fucking spot, bruv. Wait, how? Ta oh, nice. He's gonna adapt, man. He's a soldier, bro. Oh shit, oh shit. Yo, yo. Oh, okay, Arthur. What is he counting? I don't like this. Oh, nice. Oh, semblance. Or not semblance. It's auras. Jeez. Nah, come here, bitch. Damn, he straight visceral tackled him. Oh no, where are they gonna land? Okay. What? I don't like what he was counting, bro. You never appreciated my genius, James. You just stood atop and called yourself a giant. You won't let this. I suppose in this instance, my brains and your brawn are evenly matched. You're smart, but you're not the only one who can count. Oh shit. That was a little too close for my liking, James. Rebuilding those rings is going to be such a pain. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yo, he gonna take the meat off that arm. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I mean, unless you're hoping to add more metal to that body of yours. All right, now, where did they put them? What? Yo, wipe the literal floor with this bitch! Ironwood's made so many sacrifices, bro. Whatever it takes to stop her. <laughs> oh, I hope you do, James. I hope you do. 
Tyrion Kalos, you're under arrest. <laughs> Good guys. Yo, Crow said, fuck arrest. We're throwing hands. Yo, get some. Tough. Damn. He's 3v1 and pretty decent. Ooh. Good. There goes level one. Oh, yeah. Hit him with that three piece extra biscuit, bitch. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, shh. I'm still not approaching him, bro. Oh shit. Where's that smile now? Run! She's too close, bro. She's too close. Nope. No. Yes, sir. Was anyone caught trying to enter the school grounds while I was away? N no. Are you sure? Still afraid, I see. Now show me where you've been hiding her. Affirmative. You exposed yourself, Ironwood. General call us back without giving a reason. Especially with evacuations still going on in Manful. You don't have to understand orders, kids. You just have to follow them. Civi transports won't be stopping anytime soon. The general says he needs us now. He needs us now. You all get to the general and find out what's happening. We'll bring Oscar and see you soon. Bruh. General Ironwood? We have made a critical error. The Black Queen used the symbol Salem showed us before we lost everything. Her way of telling us she was inside. That it was too late. We stopped Watts. We stopped Kalos, but someone was here. They put this in my office to tell me that it... What if Mantle was just a distraction? What if it was oh, just no. a draw away from the academy to No, to no, serve? no. It's going to be okay. We've got Mantle on our side now, and... How do we know that wasn't part of their plan? How do we know they didn't want us to bring people into Atlas by the thousands? In trying to save everyone, we left ourselves most vulnerable. Relax, Thank relax, you. relax. One step ahead of us this entire time. It's... Glass. Black glass. This was Cinder. She's alive? And she's here? If Cinder's here, then for all we know, Hazel's here too. Sorry, <clears throat> this isn't over yet. We're with you. Uh-oh. Are you with me? Sir? How did Robin know about the Global Communications Project? We told her. The night of the ambush. You did what? We were trying to help. By going behind our backs? Wait. Does that mean you let her escape? Robin is on our side. She always has been. We didn't know that for sure. 
None of this matters right now. Loyalty always matters. Oh shit. Bested Arthur Waltz. Congratulations. We stopped Tyrion too. And we'll stop Cinder and anyone else you try to send here. Dear girl, their goal was never victory. Oh no. Merely to set the stage. For what? For me. Time isn't on your side, James. It's always been on mine. That's actually high key the true. Of Atlas have suffered enough. Surrender the staff and the lamp to me, and they needn't suffer any further. That's not going to happen. Oh, thank God. I thought he was going to do it for a second. Oh yeah. Seeing what you're capable of. The lamp showed us. It showed us everything. We've seen that you can't be killed. But we've also seen you fail. Ooh. We don't have to kill you to stop you. Ooh. And we will stop you. Ooh. Talking that shit. Your mother said those words to me. My mother? She was wrong too. the fuck what was that at Salem that's who we're up against and she's apparently on her way but we'd be alerted if any forces had approached the kingdom we have long range proximity alarms all along the coast and they're offline with all of the chaos we didn't notice Watts must have shut them down or they've already been destroyed What is that supposed to mean? But all of them? You said in your speech that Amity Tower was ready to launch. Was that true? No. You just said that to lure out Watts. General. Ironwood? I've sent your sister to claim the power of the Winter Maiden. What? When I realized we'd been compromised, I knew we couldn't wait any longer. The staff and the lamp have to be locked away. I thought... You said we could keep it. Well, that was before you lied to me about the lamp. Before you lied to us about Robin, before Salem was right on our doorstep, before Mantle was nearly destroyed, and myself and my army were left exhausted. The timeline has changed. And so Everybody keeps important. saying that. The timeline has changed. What are our orders, sir? We are going to take our plan for Amity Tower and apply it to the city of Atlas. What? It was Oz's plan in a former life, but he didn't take it far enough. If we harness the power of the staff and raise ourselves high into the atmosphere, the city's artificial climate will keep citizens and food supplies unharmed, always out of reach of whatever Salem may try to send our way. 
But we're nowhere near finished evacuating everyone. You'd be leaving Mantle to die. Yes, I would. We can't allow Salem to capture the relics. This is our best chance at getting the staff, the lamp, and the maiden as far away from her as possible. But we have an opportunity Wait. to reunite the world. He said I sent we Winter we can all work together again. We can to claim the power of the Winter Maiden. She said claim. Sometimes you mean take? Doing the right thing means making tough decisions. You're right. And I think the right thing to do would be to stand our ground. Me too. Me too. Me too. Can y'all make that decision? I'm almost positive you can. ourselves ragged trying to save Mantle tonight. We'll try that again against an even larger force. But your huntsmen and huntresses, you can't just back down from a fight. You can live. One single fight while trying to win a war. What's the council going to say? Nothing. Once I declare martial law. Oh, what about Robin? Who exactly are you loyal to? We're loyal to the people counting on us to save them. We are saving who we can. <laughs> That's always tough. I'm sorry it's come to this, but until Atlas and the relics are safe, you are all under arrest. We won't just let you take us. I know. Yeah! He said, oh, I know. Ruby, are you there? Ruby! Did you tell them? Yo, so that was uh, Volume 7, Chapter 11. Um, I've been pretty speechless since the end of that. The fight between Ironwood and Arthur was fire. The fight between, you know, uh, Clover, Crow, Robin, and Tyrion went as expected. Um, they took him out pretty handily, which they should have, uh, which is good. But as we see, defeat for Salem's people is not really defeat. If they get done what they need to get done. Iron was the distracted. Amity communications isn't done. Tyrion is captured. However, everybody's spread and split up. She is again sown discourse in between everyone. One little white line, one little reveal has now created such a wide gasm between Ironwood and the Aesops and Team Ruby. Um, it's hard to know what's gonna come of it. Uh, currently, Team Ruby's under arrest, but like this goes back to what I was saying. Like a couple chapters ago, you're, the weapons are yours as long as you're under the service of Atlas. They got these hundreds and hundreds licenses courtesy of Atlas. They got these new phones and scrolls courtesy of Atlas. And I'm just like, is this safe? Is this good? And dead ass, it wasn't because we've hit the point of every little thing that's been building up has just come to crash together salem so arthur having a salem ball in that bag in salem coming herself out of the ball to talk shit was unexpected highly unexpected for me i might be slow but i need somebody comment down below when ironwood walked in with the bag right did he walk into his office and he saw the chess piece or did he walk into his office and he saw Neo dressed as somebody? I think it was the chess piece part, but that part kind of threw me a little bit. I just want to make sure I get clarification before I keep talking on that point, right? Um, At the end, we see that I was expecting the Winter Maiden to be missing when Nora was like, did you tell them yet? But boom, surprise, Oscar is the one who's missing. 
Oscar is the one who's not there. We don't know the status of the Winter Maiden, but they were on the way. They can't keep going. Otherwise, Cinder will know the location. If Cinder knows the location, odds are she's winning that fight, right? Um, I don't like how when Ironwood said, I sent Winter, I sent your sister to, uh, to um, I sent your sister to, to take the, he didn't say take the Winter Maiden's power, but that's what he meant. And by take him and kill her and take the goddamn power. That's pretty evil. Martial law is not the way to go, but then again, I'm not Ironwood dealing with this craziness. I don't know what I would do. I don't know what the right move is, but it feels like he's acting a little too independently. Uh, I don't blame him. I don't blame him for some of the way he's reacting. But again, we talked about overreacting. This is it. He's overreacting. It's officially, the overreaction is officially in full effect. Um, with that being said, I'm not sure where the rest of this is going. I'm not sure if Salem saying that she's coming is actually, she's on the way. It was interesting enough to see that, yes, the defenses were taken down. Everything was cut offline. Um... So she could be on the way. She very well could be on the way. But looking at it from a bad guy, good guy perspective, I don't really know what Salem being on her way, why she would expose herself to such a, at such a time, you know? I mean, yes, you have two relics and two maidens in the same place. So it's a, it's a good time for a power play. But for me, it feels a little soon. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on this one. Probably. Uh, but with that being said, if you made it this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video, hit the bell for notifications because we post content daily and you don't want to miss out. If you want to catch me, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check the description for the Twitch link and, of course, the Patreon link where you find uncut, unreleased anime and Ruby reactions. I'm your man behind the cameras. As always, stay nasty. You're nasty.